complaining about Nepal. And yes, the light uh, in my place, like I said, is worse than epilepsy. No power supply in Nigeria. What do you think about this estimated billion? It's a fraud. What's your opinion? Oh, when they don't go there, they are a bunch of criminals eating our money. Do you think that it's very poor? You see, they should give us light and uh, share the meter for people so that it will be easy for us. We're here to find out more from the members of the National Assembly about the power sector and the meter asset provider regulations. Yeah, my name is Dr. Sai Nicholas Sosai. I represent the Pokwan Federal Constitution of Data State. Uh, currently, I'm the chairman of uh, committee on uh, treaty, uh, protocols and agreements uh, of the House of Representatives of Nigeria. Uh, other issues electricity <coughs> you know for a community that generate 485 megawatts of electricity into the national grid uh, you are enjoying this life because it's from my community and even as rock by villa and yet that community have no electricity you know, under the uh, control of bini disco uh, you know uh, they always have light probably once in three months that's not a good way of uh, business creating a lot of business in those key areas. So that challenge has been there. And <coughs> when I came into the National Assembly, one of the agenda I try to push is to make sure that uh, the step down of electricity is done for my place. Uh, the process I've started, we made a provision of budget of three billion, and the budget, most of the contractor have uh, sex most of the money. Uh, the job is ongoing. Uh, I think it's towards its final stage now because they are doing enumeration so that the contractor can be allowed to go to the field. You know, most of them are unsure since they buy in terms of the generator, you know, that can be able to step down, you know, uh, the light. So um, most of the discos are supposed to add value into the network have not been able to do that. Uh, most of the facilities are obsolete and they have tried not to change it. Uh, sometimes, uh, they fail to give our people meter, so you put everybody and be able to bring an semester bill. That is killing, and that's robbery. So we've tried as much as possible. Uh, uh, with the new policy, the federal government says that if a disco refuses to bring a meter, don't pay him. So I believe that is the way to go. Uh, but most importantly, the people have no light, and you are increasing tariff. It doesn't make sense doesn't make sense. That is double jeopardy. You know, I think that's what is causing a lot of problem. Probably that prompted the demonstration that has happened in a dual data uh, because of uh, the inability of such uh, Bini discos to be able to uh, be able to give services that are necessary for the people. You don't just bring a regulation policy and yet we cannot police it. I think they lack the necessary manpower to police them. Uh, NEC, as, as a, an agency of government, saddled with the issues of regulating, uh, ought to have, you know, uh, passed those information in terms of using local means, uh, you know, in reaching out to the people, uh, or partner with the honorable members of the House of Representatives of Senator, or the House of Assembly members in the state, or the local government chairman, you know, to be able to partner with them in the 774 local government, and be able to impact, you know, this policy, this particular policy. Because everybody does not have uh, television. Neither everybody uses social media to be able to know the policy that, you know, that agencies has having to do. I think they should be more practical. Agencies should be more practical. And they have not been proactive in terms of uh, passing up the information. The only thing Nigeria hears about them uh, is the issues that they are collaborating with discos in ripping Nigerians. I think they should be able to protect the interests of the people. That is the reason why they were set up to regulate you know, that particular sectors of the economy. People are using generator. In fact, where you see you have a lot of uh, modular refinery coming up, we have um, 
a lot of oil comp in various places in that community, and yet the people have no light to be able to, you know, to bring succor to them. Uh, it's, they just resort their, you know, their hope to God. God man has failed them.